Good morning, everyone. Um, this video is to show a new feature that we have in AM32 uh, that was developed by Unit and myself uh, for updating the bootloader on your AM32 uh, ESC. Now, most people don't need to update their bootloader, uh, but uh, there are occasions where um, you want a, a newer bootloader, and uh, mostly it would be when one of the developers tells you that you should try updating your bootloader. Um, so, the process. Now, first of all, what I've done is I've gone to developed.am32.ca. Uh, that's because the bootloader update feature is currently only in the development version of the AM32 configurator. Um, after a few of you have tried it uh, successfully, then um, I imagine that unit will move it to the uh, release version, which is just am32.ca. So what I have here is a single ESC. So this is a Siskin um, uh, F051 ESC. And you can see that it's currently running uh, the Siskin F051 firmware version 2.12, so the previous stable release, and it's got bootloader version 11, so that's an older bootloader. And so what we're going to do is, first of all, download the bootloader update firmware. Now, if you go to the AM32 GitHub, that's github.com slash am32-firmware, and you'll find there is a repository here, am32-bootloader. All right, and then you'll notice there is a set of uh, releases here. Now, the latest release that has the bootloader uh, updater is the 12.0.2 release. So what we're going to do is download this special file here, which is the AM32 bootloader updaters. And AMJ stands for an AM32 JSON file. That's the format that we've chosen to package the bootloader update firmware in. So we go and download that file. All right, so there it is. And what I'm going to do is open it. And I'm now going to extract all those files and extract. All right, and we'll show the new files. Okay, so here's all of our bootloader update firmwares. Now, you will notice that there's a lot more bootloaders uh, and board types that are supported now than in previous releases. Uh, if we go to am32.ca and go to downloads, and you can see that there is 10 bootloaders showing up here. Well, uh, we've been busy and uh, we now support a much wider range of board and pin combinations. And so you can see that there is a long list of bootloaders we've got here now. All right, so we've now downloaded all of these bootloaders and uh, we'll just have to make sure that we've got the right one. So in this display here, we can see that this is an F051 microcontroller. That's under the MCU here. I'll just raise the font up to make it a little bit easier to see. Uh, so you can see there that that's an F051 microcontroller. And it's the signal pin. That's the one that the D-Shot or PWM signal comes in on is PA2. And it's currently running the Siskin 051 firmware. So we need a bootloader for microcontroller F051 with pin PA2. And if we scroll down through those, there we have the F051 BL updater. So that's what the, the file name's called. It's AM32, then the microcontroller name, then BL updater, then the pin and version, and then it's an AMJ file. All right, so let's go through the process now of actually doing the update. So we click on the usual flash firmware button and we've got this new option in the developed version of the configurator here. And do read this warning. Um, updating a bootloader isn't like updating a normal firmware. Um, if you remove power during the process of updating the bootloader, then you can uh, brick your ESC, you would only be able to recover it with a debug adapter. Uh, so uh, you should really only do this if there is a good reason to update it. All right, 
um, we now need to pick the right file. So let's go and uh, select that file we found before, which is that AM32 F051, uh, AM32 F051 BL Updater PA2. That's the correct one. So we've selected that and which ESC and we can now tell it to flash this new bootloader. So it's just plugged in as usual. It's on stable power. You want to make sure that you do have it powered up properly. <coughs> and you prob ideally, you would have the motors disconnected as well, although it, it shouldn't actually matter. All right, so let's do a flash. And so that's going to flash this bootloader updater firmware. So this is a firmware which, when it runs, it erases and, and replaces the bootloader. All right, so that's going through that process. It's now resetting. It's sending the default config. So you'll end up on the default config. And uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to, so that's all completed. And I'm now going to power cycle the ESC. So I'm going to turn it off and turn it back on again. And then I'm going to reread the settings. And you'll notice that the bootloader version is now showing as version 12 here. It was previously showing as 11. So we have now successfully updated the bootloader. Uh, so now I'm going to update the main firmware. Uh, so let's go to a pre-release version um, for this ESC. So the 2.16 RC3. And I'm going to flash that pre-release Siskin F051 firmware. This takes a bit longer. The, um, the full firmwares are a lot larger than the bootloader update firmware. If this fails, by the way, you can just uh, reload the, uh, the ap application. Occasionally, web-based tools like this can have failures, uh, but don't be too worried. You can power cycle the, the ESC and just run the updater again. All right, so it's now resetting. And reading the settings. And there we have it. We're now on the Siskin F051 version 2.16 with the version 12 bootloader. So we are all set and ready to go with this ESC. So I hope that was useful. Uh, as I mentioned at the start uh, and several times, uh, most people don't need to update their bootloader. But uh, if you do need to update it, then this is the process. Happy flying.